Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee. And today's tarot card of the day, how the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Wanderer. And this has come up, you know, two out of the last three days. And, uh, you know, like I said a couple days ago, you know, this is the start of a brand new journey. You know, it's, it's having that understanding, that, uh, that faith to leap out onto that rainbow bridge and walk into the Wildwood Forest. Now, you know, when this card came up again today, I was, I was looking at it going, okay, what was the message that I missed? What is the message that has to be delivered, you know, to the viewers out there as this has come up twice? Because yesterday was Queen of Boats, the hair, and uh, she was asking me, you know, what, where do you need to have a deeper understanding of what's going on? And, you know, maybe what happened is, you know, you started thinking about what that queen said to you. And you stopped and you said, you know what? You know, maybe I need to, you know, I have the knowledge and the wisdom, you know, to move forward. But, you know, maybe I need to stop right now and rethink what's going on. Rethink what my path is moving forward. And, uh, you know, maybe that put a little doubt in your mind. You know, you you can reach the other side of this wildwood, you know, this rainbow bridge into the wildwood forest. But if you have any hesitation or doubt, what will happen is you're not relying on your faith. You're not relying on, on spirit to get you across, the, you know, the side. You're not fully ready. And, uh, you know, if you can remove that doubt and remove that insecurity out of your head, all right, and just believe that universe has got you to cross this bridge, then things are going to go smoothly. You know, the other, the other, the other notion too is, you know, as I think about it, maybe that was a false start. Okay, maybe it was, okay, yeah, you're ready for another journey, but this Queen of Bows is coming up to you and saying, you know, hey, I've got some action energy for you. You know, we can go ahead and take care of all this stuff, but at the same time, you know, are you ready to to make that that first step? Are you ready to take that action? Maybe you weren't. Maybe today's the day that you take that action. You know, where you say, you know what? I heard what that came up the other day, and you know, I didn't take the action, and now it comes up today, I'm gonna to take that action today. I know that's how things work for me, all right? I may, you know, think about something, and all of a sudden it'll pop up. And I'll be like, nah, I'm not gonna do it, all right? And then it'll pop up again, I'm like, okay, now this is not a coincidence. Spirit's trying to tell me something, and maybe I get distracted. The third time I see something like this pop up, okay, I hear you. You know, I usually I usually look up and I say, okay, Dad, you know, I hear you. I understand. I'm moving forward. So, um, you know, with this being the new beginning of a new cycle, you know, we're only into what the third week of the year. Um, you know, we're starting to settle into our work practices. We're starting to settle into, uh, you know, a new normal. You know, after after the holidays, trying to get you know through things, this, that, and the other thing. You know, uh, maybe you're touching base with you know other coworkers that you haven't talked to in a while. You know how things are going because you you know you've been cooped up with with family and you know close friends at, at home. You know, maybe it's time now to just say, you know what? Now it's time to refocus on what I need to do for the for this year. You know, and again, you know, it's January, it's 2021. People are feeling different. All right, and they're like, you know what? We're not going to let this this virus control our lives. We're going to go out and do what we need to do. All right, and, you know, that could be work-related. That could be friend-related. That could be, you know, social-related. You know, we're not going to let this thing beat us and beat us down. Um, you know, and with it being January, you know, it's it's a great time to get, get out there and, and start new things. A couple of weeks ago, it was all about, you know, the emotional fortitude. And last week, it was it was a little bit about that that materialism, that security, you know, that possibly you were lacking with what's going on in life, you know. And this week, it's starting off. It's you know, it's life lessons, you know, talking about, you know, starting fresh, starting new, getting out there and uh, you know, meeting new people, you know, being in new surroundings, you know, maybe planting new roots. All right. With that, you know, it comes new challenges, new possibilities, new opportunities. But it's it's the wisdom and the courage that you gain from walking your spiritual path, you know, before. 
And, you know, we've seen this come up late last year with the World Tree, you know, come up a couple times. And, and the journeys were short, you know, but not only is this the end of a journey, you know, start of a journey, it's also the end of a journey. So, it, you know, and it takes courage, courage to go out there and meet new people. It takes courage to, uh, you know, do something different than what you're used to doing. And, uh, you know, when you take that leap and that step of faith to walk across that, that rainbow bridge, the universe has already started the momentum, all right? And now it's telling you, you know, move forward. Start this new journey with, with uh, wisdom and knowledge and courage and enthusiasm. You know, you have to have some enthusiasm, some ambition, you know, to move forward. And uh, like I said, this is, you know, this can be a both an ending and as well as a starting. But it's, it's uh, the biggest thing is, is don't let the past hold you back from moving forward. Don't let the naysayers hold you back from doing what you want to do. All right, sit down and you know develop your plan. Put that plan in the in the process. Come up with the steps you need to come up with to you know accomplish whatever it is you want to you know want to accomplish. Because right now this is a turning point, whether that's unconsciously or consciously. You know, it's a turning point for you to move forward. It's a turning point for you to meet different people along that path. Yesterday was the Queen of Bows. Today, you know, tomorrow could be somebody different. You know, but it's it's time to move and leap into that wildwood forest. You know, greet the people that are out there. The first steps of any new journey is to take that first step. You know, just one step forward is all you need to do. And that's going to propel you to take another step and another step. Right? You can't eat that elephant all in one bite. Do little bites. You know, just like, you know, when you're out running or when you're out biking. Go for five minutes. Then extend it to 10, then extend it to 15. You know, what that does is it opens you up. It opens you up to the universe, opens it up to spirit, opens you up to new possibilities. And at the same time, you're getting stronger. You're gaining wisdom, you're gaining your courage, All right? And just like this wanderer, open your arms to the universe. Let them carry you over that bridge. Don't worry about what's underneath your feet. You know, accept whatever may come as you're moving forward. So that's today's message. Again, the wanderer, we talked about it the other day. It's come up again today. Usually that's, you know, I've, I've missed something, you know, in my interpretation of it, or spirit, you know, wants to give me more message for somebody that's out there. So enjoy the card today. You know, take a leap of faith. Um, know that the universe has got your back. Spirit's there, there to help you. All right? This is D for Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Stay safe, everybody.